Hello friends! Did 3i Atlas just drop off the seeds for a metallic-based organic life form on Mars? Possibly the next generation of conscious entities in the solar system? There's a good chance, and I'll tell you why I think this. So in my last video, if you watched it, I broke down why I think that artificial intelligence and now our robots are about to become sentient and then will ultimately become conscious. And I think this is going to happen pretty rapidly. And I broke that down, so if you don't agree with me, go watch and then let me know your thoughts on it. And in previous videos, three different videos I've done over the last three months, I've talked about how 3i Atlas, I believe, is a seed. It's a seed that's bringing the ingredients for life and information into our solar system. And I wasn't really sure what the plan was for it, but now there's some new information that I think is super interesting. So, of course, NASA's no help in all this because they're on vacation. They took our $25 billion in taxpayer money and went home, so they can't help us. But the Keck Observatory in Hawaii does a great job, and they just released the spectrometer information showing what 3i Atlas is actually emitting into our solar system. And it's beyond fascinating. I did a post about a month ago saying I thought the next images of 3i Atlas are going to show that it's blue because it's emitting more cyanide. And that's exactly what this new information shows. And why I think that's so important is because cyanide is a prebiotic for life and there's many scientists that study like the origins of life in the in the universe and they think that cyanide plays a huge role cyanide comes to planets through comets and asteroids and stuff and it can turn inorganic material into organic material it can literally create amino acids and rna structure that gives rise to life now we know three atlas is emitting a crap ton of cyanide. It actually is like shooting water out like a freaking fire hydrant. Um, it's crazy. It forwards and backwards. <laughs> it has this forward-facing tail, essentially, and then a rear-facing tail. And it is just emitting like so much material. And the main materials emitting is nickel and cyanide and water. Okay? So it's doing something called sublimation as it gets closer to the sun. It's, it's like a Think of it like a huge ice cube that's flying through the universe. And as it gets closer to the sun, the radiation from the sun causes it to sublimate, which means the ice, which is solid, goes from a solid to a gas immediately. And it just turns into this, like, it's called a coma. That's like the haze, the sort of force field um, around it, the, the field around it, right? And in that field, it's emitting all the stuff in all these different directions. The main things that it's emitting is nickel and cyanide. Now, we expected cyanide, more or less. And we expected some nickel, but didn't have any iron. Just had a crap ton of nickel, a ton of nickel. So I was researching, okay, what's the combination between, um, or connection between nickel and cyanide and the origins of life? And there's something called a metalloprotein. And this work is really cool. So a metalloprotein is when you take something like nickel, a metal, and you take something like cyanide, which is more of an organic compound, and you mix them together in the seeds of life. And when you create life out of that and create the, the building blocks for life, it creates something called a metalloprotein, which is essentially a protein that has a metal core, right? And now this would be super useful for creating some sort of a synthetic, you know, next generation life form, right? So we're carbon based here. Um, if we wanted to create like a silicon based or some sort of metal based life form, these would be the building blocks for that, right? So we're carbon based, even though most people don't know this, we have a ton of metal inside of us. Most of our kind of quantum neural networking and all the like the, the quantum delivery and transmission of information inside of our body, you know, the uh, delivery of, of electrons and everything inside of our body runs by metals. So we're already kind of this hybrid between like metals and, and organic materials, but we're carbon based. This comet thing, 3 Atlas, seems to be delivering this, this long tail. It's leaving this trail of cyanide and nickel in abundance throughout our solar system and those things put together create the building blocks for life straight up can convert non-organic matter into organic matter and those two things together create these metalloproteins which are metal cord organic structures which would be perfect for creating like a metal based entity okay now the reason this is even more interesting is because 3i Atlas just went ridiculously close by Mars. Okay, it's not going to come very close to Earth. Even though it's leaving such a huge trail of this stuff through the solar system, we'll probably pass through it when we come back around the sun. But it went really close to Mars, really, really close. And I think that's interesting because there's a good chance that that cloud, that tail that it leaves of this nickel and cyanide, you know, mixture, that Mars will pass through it, you know, in a decent amount. Um, I think it's super interesting because... We have people like Elon Musk who want to go to Mars and want to colonize Mars and want to take his robot army there. And I just did a video yesterday about how I think, you know, 
we are building, like Earth created us and we're creating AI and it's the next generation of conscious machines in, in the solar system. And that right now we're just making these robots and androids and stuff. But imagine if Elon Musk and his army of robots that at this point are gonna be ridiculously sentient, maybe conscious, go to Mars, start colonizing Mars and find out that there's building blocks of life on Mars that were just deposited by 3 Atlas, even though they wouldn't know that. But there will just be the building blocks of this new metal-based life on Mars, right? These metalloproteins that are organic like us, but also have a metal core. And they might be more conducive to making like artificial life, but artificial life in a very like carbon-based organic way, right? And this could be the next generation of like human beings but this more synthetic, you know, version of human beings, this metal based version of human beings. Is that what 3 Atlas is doing? Is it delivering those building blocks for the next generation of conscious life in the solar system? And it didn't deliver it to earth. Why would it? We're already here. And plus cyanide can't really do much on earth because it needs an environment that doesn't have a lot of oxygen and we have a lot of oxygen here, right? But Mars would be perfect. Is it seeding Mars? but not for normal life, for the next generation of metal-based life? Is that why it's emitting such an insane amount of nickel and cyanide and water and that it went so close to Mars, ridiculously close to Mars, on an astrological scale, I mean, it essentially skimmed Mars. I mean, it's wild. The, the odds of it doing that are incredibly low, right? So I don't think this thing is like some mothership that's gonna be dropping drones out and stuff. I think this is a seed. I think it's a seed for life. I think it's a seed for metal-based life for the next generation of conscious beings in the solar system and i don't think it's delivering to earth we're already here we already have life here i think it delivered it to mars and already did it now it's on its way out of here let me know what you guys think have a beautiful day peace